My name is Trevor Tyson with KVanceTraining.com, and today we're going to go over the three cone drill for NFL combine test downs. Going to work a little technique. Going to show you how you can improve your times with a little bit of footwork, as well as how you're going to stride out to the first and second cone. One of the most important parts about dealing with your time with the three cone drill here is your starts, okay? So we're going to work with both feet at the edge of the line. You're going to take one foot back even with the ankle bone or slightly past that. Next foot's going to take close to a four to six inches behind that foot. You're going to go ahead and kneel down and line that right arm up with the edge of the line. Next step is we're going to drive our butt up, get the shin as close to the ground as we can. And we're going to raise that back arm past the hip line so we've got good power out of the start. Now we start, we got two bound strides. Go ahead and go. Two bound strides here to the cone. And it's a little bit of a hitch step. And then you're going to do the same thing on the way back with the hitch step. All right, so let's go ahead and simulate that part. And we're going to show you the rounded edge here. You got to stay close to the cones. It's very important that you hug the cones on the corners so that you get a, a much quicker time. So let's go ahead and go through a, a half pace demo here. We've got our two bound strides. You're trying to get three strides all the way to the cone and the turn whenever you're ready. Two strong strides, hitch step, back the other way, hitch step. You're rounding the cone, hug the corners out and around, and then we're finishing strong, running all the way through. Now, how we train with the K-bands here is we use resisted sets followed by unresisted sets. These are really gonna help you develop that power in your hips and help with cuts, because you're gonna build more strength throughout your hip flexors, your glutes, and your lower legs. We're gonna run two resisted sets here for you and one unresisted, and we'll go over the workout breakdown for you after those, okay? First set here, he's gonna get his legs set up. Got, remember, the ankle step back, then we're going four to six inches. Get that front arm up even with the line, drive the other arm back. Take that slight hesitation, get the load. We got two long bounds whenever you're ready. Come on, push yourself. Here we go. Gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Touching lines, touching lines. Be quick, round the corner, explodes, explodes through. Very good. Now the bands are gonna wanna resist a little bit, okay? You're gonna feel that through your hips, you're gonna feel that through the legs and how you utilize them is by really learning to drive your knees through the stride. Gonna help with that stretch reflex, gonna help build your hip flexors. Very important with speed. Don't run all these back to back. You don't need to do 30 three cone drills, 10 second breaks. We're going right to the point here, taking a lot of breaks. We're going about a minute, minute and a half in between sets, so catch your breath. Make sure that your legs are ready to rock drive through with your knees. On to the second one here. Remember, you gotta touch the line. Another small point is that we gotta go with the right arm. Right arm on both sides, okay? Right arm on the cone two, right arm on back here at the start. Ready? Your starts are very important. You gotta get through the start here. Be very powerful with your legs. Arms up, driving through. Big arms, now push yourself, push yourself. Bound, bound, come on, push. Dig, 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 dig. Very nice. Those are our two resisted. Now we're going with our unresisted set. Your legs are gonna feel free. They're gonna feel loose. You gotta stay under control and be quick. Use that feather-like feeling you're gonna have in your legs and really use the neurological functions. You gotta think, okay, I gotta be quicker. My legs feel lighter, I gotta move, all right? Very important to utilize this time period. So take your minute, minute 15. We've got one more set here. All right, deep breath, got about 15 seconds. Make sure you're staying close to these cones. You want to lead with your head on that third turn there and really push yourself. Starts are very important. Make sure you're working on those as well. Come on, touch the line, touch the line. There you go, touch the line. Push, push, lead with the head, lead with the head. Good, big arms, big arms, big arms. Very good. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna work those four sets resisted, two unresisted, really push the pace. It's very important you work on your starts. That's half the speed there. As you round the other cones, lead with your head and make sure you're powering through with your arms. Lazy arms mean slow feet. So push yourself and keep working hard. 